Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with MCQ questions from the poem Voyage, which is written by Harindranath Chattopadhyay. So basically the video will have a lot of questions which will help you to prepare for your examination from this chapter. So without further ado, let's begin. All the best. I hope all your answers would be correct. All right. So the first question that I have is, which of the following means bon voyage? What is the question? In this case, which phrase hai jiska meaning hota hai bon voyage? Bon voyage is a French phrase. So in this case, which phrase hai jo English mein iska meaning translate karta hai? Happy ship, happy journey or happy day? Happy journey is the correct answer. I hope you have also ticked this one. Great. Moving on to the next one. What is fantasy? What is a fantasy? Fantasy ka matlab kya hota hai? Something imaginary or something real? So fantasy is something which is fictional. Jo aapne sirf socha hota hai. Wo sach mein nahi hota. It is just imaginary. Moving on. Voyage is a. What is voyage? The name of the poem is voyage. What is the meaning? So A option is a long journey involving travel by sea or in space or to watch a movie. Option A is correct. Voyage is when you are traveling by sea. So basically a journey which is in water and ship that is voyage or in space. Next, which of the following means self-discovery? The little boy is in a boat. है ना वो बोट में है एंड वो अराउंड द वर्ल्ड वो जा रहा है तो इसका मतलब ये भी है कि आप अपने आप को ज्यादा बेहतर जानने की कोशिश कर रहे हो इट्स अ जर्नी ऑफ सेल्फ डिस्कवरी आल्सो सो सेल्फ डिस्कवरी इनमें से कौन सा मीनिंग है इंट्रोस्पेक्शन इंट्रो डिस्कवरी और इंट्रोडक्शन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट व्हिच इज इंट्रोस्पेक्शन दिस इज द फ्रेज दिस इज द वर्ड which means self discovery apne aap ko behtar janne ko kehte hain introspection next who is the poet of this poem i have told you in the beginning of the video only the name is harindranath chattopadhyay next i'll make a pretty paper boat who is i here har ek stanza ke beginning mein there is i the pronoun is here <clears throat> so who is i here poet boy or a girl so it's a boy who's there with his boat in the poem that is the narrator the dash have ruby eyes so who has uh, a ruby eyes in the poem elephants have or horses have or do children have what is the correct answer here think and tell me horses elephants or the children i hope you know the answer very good that is correct horses is the right answer in the poem it's written mares so that is horses all right next what is a simile what does a simile mean highlighting similarities between the two things using comparison words like as like so or than or when you're highlighting the differences between two things using the same comparison words or you are saying that someone is smiling so definitely not the c option the first option is correct a simile is when you are directly comparing the features or the characteristics or qualities of two things all right there are various similes used in the poem we'll be discussing it in the next question so for this question our option a is correct i hope you had selected the first answer next identify the poetic device in the given line as softly as a dream which poetic device has been used as we discussed in the previous question when you are using as to compare two things or the similarity of two things so as softly as a dream it is a simile i hope you have understood what is simile through this mcq question next which adjective has been used for elephants in the poem one adjective has been used for elephants in the second stanza second last line where dreamy drowsy elephants so out of the options the first option drowsy that means what is the meaning sleepy very good 
sleepy is the meaning that is the correct answer next which line has been repeated in the poem aisi kaun si line hai jo bar bar poem mein aa rahi hai what poetic device is it and jab koi bhi line poem mein bar bar aati hai to usko kaun sa poetic device hum kehte hain so the line i will make a pretty paper boat i will make a lovely paper boat i will make a simple paper boat right ye jo line hai bar bar har stanza ke beginning mein aati hai so ye kaun sa poetic device hai it is repetition so repetition kya hota hai jab koi bhi ek line aur phrase poem mein bar bar aata hai usko hum kehte hain repetition all right great next elephants have dash for their eyes एलिफेंट्स की आईज में क्या है उनकी आईज के लिए क्या यूज किया गया है थिंक क्विकली रूबी एमरल्ड और हेवन वेरी गुड द ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट एमरल्ड ग्रेट नेक्स्ट व्हाट डज डिस्टेंट शोर मीन डिस्टेंट शोर का मीनिंग क्या होता है सो यहाँ पे दोनों वर्ड्स का मीनिंग पहले हम समझते हैं एंड देन विल सेलेक्ट द राइट ऑप्शन सो so, डिस्टेंट यानी जो दूर होता है एंड शोर का मतलब कोई भी किनारा आप लेक का किनारा ओशन का किनारा या जैसे बीच होता है वहां पर क्या हो रहा है रिवर लैंड से मीट करता है तो उस किनारे को हम शोर कहते हैं सो अ शोर विच इज फार अवे विच इज नॉट फार अवे और विच इज इन द मिडल सो क्योंकि डिस्टेंट का मीनिंग होता है फार अवे दैट इज वाई ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट ऑल राइट next the children have dash in their eyes what do children have for their for their eyes what do they have the children have heaven in their eyes that means they are godly figures they never say lie wo bhagwan ki tarah hote hain right next seven seas refers to jo phrase seven seas use kiya gaya hai what does it refer to so it refers to all the seven lakes of the world or the oceans and seas of the world so definitely the second option b option is correct next in the third stanza this uh, in every stanza uh, this phrase has been used beyond the seven seas what does it actually mean discovering new places around the world going away from seven seas or after the seven seas are over this boy is on his little boat is in his little boat and going around uh, doing a journey a voyage so what is he doing he's trying to figure out he's trying to discover new places so beyond the seven seas this phrase means discovering new places around the world next the child is describing the boat as the poet has used three adjectives lovely pretty and simple the poet has used the child the narrator to say three describing words or adjectives for the boat lovely pretty and simple next which words are synonyms for journey there are three options given to you so which of the words are synonyms synonyms means similar meaning words words which mean the same so trip and job trip and sell trip and voyage the last option trip and voyage that is the correct option which word or phrase in the poem shows that the voyage is very long there is one word in the whole poem which say, which shows or which tells us that jo journey hai wo bahut lambi hai to wo jo word hai that is beyond okay next which word describes narrator the best aise kaun se words hain jo ki narrator ko best describe karte hain so you can say adventurous you can say traveler right next places mentioned by the narrator in the poem are which places are there which are mentioned by the narrator in the poem aise kaun si jagahe hain jo ki poet ne mention ki hai narrator ne yani jo little boy hai usne mention ki hai so there are mountains
right then c then river what else has been mentioned stream has been mentioned then what else has been mentioned a kingdom has been mentioned right then what else a lake has been mentioned so these are some places which have been mentioned by the poet by the narrator in the poem next question is what is rhyme scheme rhyme scheme hum kisko kehte hain so pattern of rhyming words at the end of the lines of a poem rhyme scheme kya hota hai jab aap poem ki last ki lines aap dekhoge wo hamesha rhyming hote hain right so wo jo pattern form hota hai wo hum letter se denote karte hain a b c that is rhyme scheme it is also a poetic device let's see an example to you know uh, help you understand more what is the rhyme scheme of the given stanza this is one of the stanzas i've taken from the poem uh, this is second stanza i'll make a simple paper boat so let's denote one alphabet to the each letter which is coming at the end of the line so i'll make a simple paper boat we'll give small a to this and float it on the stream now stream does not rhyme with boat so we'll give letter b my paper boat will sail away boat stream away tino hi rhyme nahi kar rahe so hum next letter denge as softly as a dream aapne dekha stream and dream same sound hai so yahan par hum letter b denge jo humne stream ko diya tha because same sound hai beyond the seven waterfalls waterfalls is a sound kisi bhi word ka nahi hai so last letter humne c diya tha uske baad d to the kingdom of the wise वाइज अगेन यहाँ पर किसी से भी राइम नहीं कर रहा है सो विल गिव ई वे ड्रीमी ड्राउजी एलिफेंट्स एलिफेंट्स यहाँ से किसी से भी राइम नहीं कर रहा है सो विल गिव एफ हैव एमरल्स फॉर आईज आईज एंड वाइज राइमिंग है सो विल गिव द सेम लेटर ई एंड दिस इज हाउ वी गेट द राइम स्कीम ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर स्टैंडा एंड हाउ डू वी राइट इट ए बी सी बी डी ई एफ ई Always remember rhyme scheme आप हमेशा small letters से denote करते हैं capital letters हम use नहीं करते clear last question what is the rhyme scheme of the whole poem so in each stanza the rhyme scheme remains same so for the whole poem the rhyme scheme is a b c b d e f e I hope all the questions are clear to you in case you have any doubt you can comment down below or you can watch the video again don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it with your friends have a good day goodbye